my brothers and sisters, the words I'm saying are only meant to be strengthening us, to bring us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the wise. He is the most loving. He knows why he does things. And he knows that everyone is going through challenges, difficulties. He has put them in your life for a reason. But with our brains, we don't understand the reason. We don't. A lot of the times, we don't know. Imagine Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I am taught to follow his example. That example is so complete that it teaches me how to go through challenges and difficulties because he has faced every hardship that I can think of. So when I face similar hardships, at least I know how to manage it. وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّكَ يَضِيقُ صَدْرُكَ بِمَا يَقُولُونَ فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَكُمْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ وَاعْبُدْ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ Amazing, the last few verses of Surah Al-Hijr, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we know that the statements they are uttering about you, be they rumor, be they false statements, be they that which is hurtful, we know that your chest is being tightened because of that. It's hurting you. You know when people say bad things about us, it hurts us. We are human beings. How do you react to it? I tell you how we react to it today. Someone says a nasty thing about you on Instagram, you say 10 nasty things about them on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Telegram, Snapchat, and then you say, huh, huh, don't you ever do that again. Right? Because we know it's a bad statement. Someone said something bad about us. So we want to retaliate. But Allah says to Muhammad sallallahu that's not how you retaliate. You're a believer. You're the best of creation. Allah says, فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكْ Declare the praise of your Rabb. Declare the praise of your Rabb. وَكُمْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ And be from among those who prostrate often. So that's how you solve your problem. Thank Allah. Alhamdulillah. A lot of the times people say nasty things about us because they're jealous. Allah's given us something that He has not given them. So don't bother. Don't respond. Don't become low with them. If they say bad things, you say good things, they will be surprised. They will be able to learn something if they have a heart. So Allah says, Sabbih. Number one, declare the praise of Allah. Glorify Allah. And then the sajda. Be from among those who is in prostration. Starting off with your obligatory prayers. And then that which is voluntary. Subhanallah. And what if... It persists. What if the problem continues? What do I do? Allah says, وَعْبُدْ رَبَّكْ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ Keep on worshipping your Rabb until death comes to you. Keep on worshipping your Rabb. Don't lose hope. Because ultimately, what's the worst that will happen? Well, if I'm sick terminally and I've been making dua to Allah, Oh Allah, have mercy on me, have mercy on me. His mercy may dictate that I pass away and I get into heaven. 